Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Saturday Frank Rich Shakedown. So today I'll be sharing with you the Sean Mendez Signature Unisex Fragrance. So if you'd like to hear notes, prices, and my little review of this, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be fragrance, it can be skincare, makeup, it really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page so that way you can come back and watch whenever you'd like to. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love getting to know my viewers and subscribers, so come hang out, come chat with me. I would really love to get to know you. Okay, so this is from the artist Sean Mendez. I guess he's Canadian. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about Sean Mendez. I'm 35. I'm definitely not in that demographic. Um, that listens to his music, but I guess he's a very talented artist. So yeah, um, I found this at my local Kroger a while ago for, yep, you guessed it, $2.49. As you can see, I have been using this. So this is a unisex fragrance. It's made for men and women. And yeah, it's called Signature. So this fragrance did launch in 2017. Um, top notes is lemon oil, um, pineapple, and apple. Um, the mid, mid notes are fragapini, um, sugar maple, and rose petals. And then the base notes are dulce de leche, um, white cedar, and skin musk. So um, I did some research um, on Amazon. This is like $12.99. Looks like Walmart. It's cheaper. So if that sounds interesting to you, then yeah, you can find it cheaper on Walmart's website. But it's really cute packaging. It has like a little gold guitar. It says Shawn Mendes signature. And then it has like a copper um, sprayer, mister, whatever. So anyway. Really nice mister like all the fine fragrance mists that I have purchased from um, Kroger. This truly is a very unisex fragrance. It is not overly sweet. It's not spicy. I'd say it's just a very mid, mid note fragrance. Um, a little bit of those base notes do come through for me. So like the cedar and the musk, um, they do come through a little bit. I can definitely smell like um, the sugar maple and like the apple. It's a, it's a nice, light fragrance. Um, it's not my favorite fragrance. Um, I don't, this isn't my favorite. It's, 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 it's okay. For me, it's okay. I like a very potent, um, bold scent. Even if it's like a sweet or floral scent, sweet or floral scent, I do like it to be kind of in your face. And I know that sounds weird. This is very kind of demure, very understated, very just, it kind of lays low, which is perfect for most people. Um, I know a lot of people, they don't like a fragrance to be extremely potent or strong or anything like that. I personally do. Everyone has different tastes and everything. So the way it smells, it smells okay to me. It's, it's, to me, it doesn't blow me out of the water. It doesn't make me super excited. Do I think most people would enjoy this? I do. I see this working for any age. I can see a teenager wearing this up to someone that is in their 50s, 60s, 70s. It's a very, I don't want to say basic because that's the wrong word. It's a very just, maybe, ba it's just a nice fragrance that I see a lot of people would enjoy. I personally don't. There's not enough diversity for me in the fragrance and it's not strong enough for me personally so it's a nice fragrance i think most people would really really enjoy this um it had really good reviews online for me though it's just underwhelming i guess that's the right word it's for me it's underwhelming so yeah um yeah, so if you do have this, if you do love it, please don't take what I said to be offensive. Everyone has different tastes, everyone has different likes and dislikes. So if you love this, that is awesome. Keep on wearing it, I bet it smells amazing on you. Just for me personally, it's a no-go, so. 
But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's um, Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. They all can't be winners. Sometimes you have a eh product, and this just happens to be a eh product for me. So, yeah. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What is a fragrance that maybe your friend or someone in your family loves and you just thought it was eh? I'd love to know down below in the comments. Um, just so you know, I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. It's all about budget food. So recipes and taste tests and little shopping hauls. So make sure you go do subscribe to that one as well. Um, and you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. So yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.